Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the uh, Shepherd card over here to start with. And it looks like, uh, you know, you're getting that leadership position that you wanted for, wanted. Uh, you're in charge of quite a few people, managing a lot of people. You might be managing a new project and it's something new that's beginning for you. It looks like you've cut your ties uh, or you're planning on cutting ties with the old job that you had. You've got the Ten of Diamonds over there, which is the Ten of Pentacles, so ending a situation as far as your work goes. And it looks like, you know, you may have gone through a, a lot of problems in that uh, old work situation over there, uh, you know, facing a lot of challenges and a lot of people coming up against you as well in this particular job. So in the past uh, few months, you've got this handshake card. So you may, you may have been uh, collaborating with a lot of people, going on a lot of business meetings, making a, new, a lot of contacts, really. And a new job is coming over there for you. Uh, you've got this anchor card over there. Uh, so something new has come in for you. And this is probably, you may have even been going for a lot of interviews as well uh, with that handshake card. Now going to the future, it looks like there's a lot of awards and recognition coming in for you. You've got that merit card over there. So, uh, you know, all your efforts, uh, people are going to give you that recognition. And, you know, uh, there's a lot of success that comes in with that particular card. Uh, and there's going to be a lot of, um, you know, communication that you're going to be doing. So maybe, uh, you know, this is the beginning of the Ace of Pentacles over there. So beginning that new job, but it involves a lot of communication, speaking to a lot of people, uh, you know, putting out a lot of information, really. Uh, and... Uh, uh, it's the Ace of Diamonds, so something, uh, you know, new money coming in. So you're starting a brand new job over there. It's going to bring in a lot more money uh, and a lot of success and fame here. And you are cutting ties with the old job that you used to do. Uh, this position that you've got is a leadership position, um, you know, in charge of a lot of things. Um, and you're walking away or cutting out all that, uh, you know, negativity that you were going through. Uh, this is being in a very defensive position uh, and managing to, you know, end that particular situation. So you, it looks like you are moving on as far as your career goes. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm using the Ramses Tarot for the uh, main read. Okay, so you've got the Four of Swords over here. So you've gone through some kind of drama uh, in your work situation here. Uh, you can see there's a lot of fire going on over there. Uh, and maybe you've, uh, you can see this man's cutting the foot off this particular animal over here. You've had to make some sort of sacrifice uh, in this particular job that you're doing. Uh, you know, you had to give up something in order for you to get something. Uh, and you've gone through a lot of drama and a lot of heartache as well with this uh, Four of Swords following the Three of Swords. You, you know, it's a kind of retreating uh, from the situation in order to come up with a new strategy or a new plan. There looks like there was, um, there could have been something legal that even happened uh, within uh, this particular situation. But you've definitely had to give up something. Maybe you even had to, you know, you had to cut your losses and really go forward. You've got that six of uh, cups over there, or six of chalices crossed by the queen of swords over there. So it looks like there was something legal that you faced as well with this queen of swords. Uh, the six of cups is about, uh, you know, being stuck in the old, really. Uh, and you can see this old man's not listening to anybody saying anything. <laughs> He's got his hands over his ears. So, you know, it may be you, uh, you know, you didn't want to move from this particular situation. Uh, and it was, um, you know, you were stuck in it uh, so that there was no more promotions or you weren't making any kind of uh, progress as far as your career goes. With the queen of swords, it's somebody that's been been through a lot of difficulties um, and now has cut her losses and is moving forward. You've got that knife full of blood over there. So there was some kind of decision that was made. It was something legal that happened to, this could have been some kind of legal scenario that you were dealing with where you had to cut your losses and move. And, uh, you know, maybe things didn't work out in your favor at all because, like I said, there was some kind of drama. Uh, you've got that fire going on over there in the background over there. A lot of swords in this particular uh, card. Uh, you know, it seems like people were stoking the fires that were going on. So somebody was 
causing that problem and uh, you know uh, causing uh, a lot of chaos there below this card you've got that ten of pentacles so this is definitely ending in a cycle with an old job so you've ended that situation uh, you've uh, cut your losses and you're moving forward uh, you are feeling as though you know uh, you're not taking advice from anybody that's for sure um, uh, you have gone, gone through the mill with this queen of swords over here and like I said there could have been some kind of legal uh, scenario that you were dealing with as well so in the past you had the nine of pentacles so whatever job you were doing uh, involved you communicating with a lot of people collaborating with a lot of people uh, being very very independent working very independently and managing to accumulate a lot of money so uh, you know this gave you a lot of financial independence whatever job you were doing but then there ended up being a lot of burdens that you were carrying with this ten of wands. It's carrying a lot of responsibilities, and it looks like there, it, you know, there was a lot of arguments, fights, petty quarrels that were going on around you. Uh, you were being victimized for some reason or the other in this particular job, and there was a lot of strife, a lot of upset over there. Um, and you can see that's why you've probably had to, uh, you know, uh, leave it uh, and move forward, uh, and you know, maybe even break a contract over there because that's, you know, just letting go of something, cutting it out completely. And you've got that sword doing the cutting. So, you know, it's almost as though you broke the contract or you, you've uh, left that particular scenario because of all the problems that were going on. Maybe there was somebody that was uh, very much a bully over there or trying to manipulate you and, uh, you know, um, having a go at you really. Uh, you can see this man's almost, um, he's, he's holding this man's hair and he's, um, uh, got a, uh, um, a wand in his hand or a stick in his hand beating him up so maybe that's how you felt as though that job was beating you up um, so you've ended it really and moving on from that so uh, you've got the hierophant on your mind over here so it might be that you want to take on some kind of teaching role a mentoring role over here or you could be going and getting some advice from somebody or you're trying to get some advice from somebody that's going to uh, be practical advice in order for you to move forward you've got some kind of choice that you are trying to make uh, or some kind of decision uh, pending here you've got these two pillars here so you're trying to make a decision it looks like you are asking for some kind of help some kind of assistance some kind of advice from somebody on how to proceed forward you are dealing with a difficult situation but you are coming across as being a person that's uh, you know got a lot of authority um, you have a, a lot of strength of character here um, and you are uh, you know you're standing up for yourself here uh, with that higher fan card so it's about trying to get some professional advice maybe as well so going to the future you've got the four of cups coming in over here so it looks like there's an option uh, um, some kind of offer being made to you there could be an offer for study of an offer because she's holding a cup uh, and that could be about learning, it could be about studying, it could be about mentoring people as well. Uh, and also you want to work with a lot of people as well. So uh, it looks like, you know, you want a job that is uh, going to be, uh, give you that satisfaction. And what's coming in for you is you're going to be getting that position, uh, you know, where you've got this offer coming in and, uh, you know, an offer of stability coming in for you there. A new, a new offer, new job offer coming in. Something that you're going to, uh, you know, it's important for you with this particular four of cups. Um, you can see this man's face is turned away from the cup that is being offered. He hasn't seen the cup yet, uh, or uh, he's ignoring the cup. So there is some kind of offer that's coming in for you uh, that you haven't considered uh, before or you may not want to consider, but it's going to be something that's pretty good because the Four uh, of Cups is something of, you know, it's a card of stability. So whatever that offer is, it's going to bring in that stability um, and allow you to put down roots. Uh, so, you know, don't ignore any kind of offer that comes in. Uh, it might be something important that will change the course of things. So you've got the Eight of Wands over here, so some news coming in over here. You might be doing some, a lot of travel at the moment, uh, and uh, you can see there's a lot of birds there, so there's a lot of communications going on. You're definitely taking control of that situation, and you're moving away from anything that was difficult. Uh, you can see this man's moving forward in this boat. So you're steering the course of things, um, and you are moving away from difficult situations um, or, uh, you know, um, difficulties. The Eight of Wands also, uh, you know, talks about... Uh, things starting to move. So where you are feeling very stuck or things, um, you know, um, you know, at a pause, it starts moving on right now. So some news coming in over here. And you might also be multitasking, doing a lot of projects as well with this Eight of Wands. 
Now you've got the Ace of Swords over here, so whatever uh, difficult situation you've been dealing with, it's going to be you taking control of that. So you are going to be uh, the one that takes control. You might have been dealing with a very toxic situation or a very toxic person, and this is a card of victory, really. Uh, and, um, you know, you can see that ca cat really has got that uh, snake's head under his paw there. So you can see that, you know, you've taken control. You're going to be victorious. If it was something legal that you had to deal with, you are going to be the winner in that particular situation. Um, there might be a bit of aggression from, you know, everybody else, but you need to actually even, you know, um, you need to also be aggressive in this particular situation. You need to be somebody who comes across as a person who will not take any nonsense from anybody really, in order for you to control that situation. So you've got the Knight of Cups. You are expecting some kind of offer. You are waiting for an offer, and there's a choice that comes in with that offer as well. So there's some decision you will have to make. You're thinking about it at the moment. So the final outcome would be the Knave of Swords, uh, the Five of Pentacles, and the Fool. So uh, there's some kind of uh, news that comes in for you with that Knave of Swords. It's something official. It's something legal. Uh, it's not the best of news because you've got the Five of Pentacles following that card. So it's something that's going to cause some kind of distress on your part or it's going to be causing some kind of financial issue, some kind of financial loss. The Five of Pentacles is always about, you know, um, where it could be even a bill that you have to pay, some kind of expense. Uh, you know, it's, it's something that comes in on the official front and it causes, uh, you know, you to feel that sense of lack. Uh, with that five of pentacles and it's going to uh, move you into starting something brand new so maybe even leaving um that situation completely and going for it and you're gonna you've got two offers over here uh coming in uh, so there is that choice so even with that hierophant card there's that choice that is pending and he's weighing his options weighing those two stones weighing uh what he should be doing so there's two job offers coming in for you to make a brand new beginning uh and you know it will get rid of all that cloudy situation you've got the sun coming out from behind the clouds there once you make a decision so you will be able to start afresh uh, and, you know, wherever you start, it's going to be, um, you know, where you are held in a very high regard. You can see all these people bowing to this man here. And he's almost like, it's almost as though he's in the spotlight, in the limelight, with the rays of the sun on him. So whatever that job is going to be, it's going to be, you know, something that gives you a lot of fame, a lot of recognition. Uh, um, but it's also going to mean that you're going to have to do some hard work in it. Uh, there's a lot of stability in it, but it's something that's going to get you out of this, uh, you know, feeling... Um, of lack or feeling of depression that you might be going through. Uh, so with this uh, Five of Pentacles also, you know, whatever's happened or, you know, you're going to get news that might be a little upsetting to you. Um, like I said, there could be a legal situation that you're dealing with that might not go in your favor. So just be aware that that could be the case. But it spurs you on to start something brand new uh, and start off somewhere else, uh, make a fresh start somewhere else where a lot of people hold you in very high regard, you know, put you on that top shelf, if you like, uh, and, uh, you know, give you that um, those awards uh, or, or an improvement in that reputation. Um, you know, it could be even a promotion uh, from where... Um, with regards to your work. So it's better. It's a better position than what you've been doing at the moment. So yeah, there is that offer coming in. Don't forget to, uh, to see it. Don't miss it. Uh, and don't disregard it if it comes your way either. Okay, so I'm going to just be drawing some cards from the uh, Fairy Tarot, and that's for the Oracle Read. Now you've got the Magician card, which is brand new beginnings. Your road is completely open here if you look at this particular card. And you're going to be able to manifest everything that you want. You can do anything, take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success. So it's all up to you. It's really everything is in your, your hands. Even with this full card, it's all in your hands. You're going to have to make that decision. And, uh, you know, don't disregard things that come uh, your way. Don't uh, say, you know, you're not really interested because it looks like this might be a very sweet offer that comes in for you. Okay, so you've got the Prince of Winter over here, which says, seek out intellectual solutions for your problems. The need to act quickly and decisively as sudden, sudden and unexpected changes. So you've got this Prince of Winter coming in over here. So this is the Prince, um, this is the Knight of Swords coming in over here. And there it is again, twice in the uh, spread. So you've got, uh, you know, some kind of legal news coming in, some kind of legal decision coming in. There's some kind of problem or, you know, it's not 
it may not be the best of uh, news, but you have to act pretty quickly. So if there's a, an offer that comes in, it might need, need, mean that you need to make a decision pretty quickly. And, uh, or it could be even some legal news coming in for you. And you've got the Princess of Winter over here, which says information that can help, uh, but which might be difficult to hear, speaking the truth with kindness. So like I said, what have, uh, whatever this Prince of Winter brings in, uh, you know, it might be not the best of news that you hear. So just be aware that that could be the case and try not to let it upset you too much. You know, you may have been expecting something and that's not what turns out in the end. And it's something official uh, that comes in. So uh, be aware uh, that that could be the case. But all in all, you've got that magician card over here. Uh, and that is showing that, you know, your way is open, your road is open. You're going to make a big decision and you're going to move on. You're going to start afresh somewhere else, it seems. Maybe you wanted to stay in this particular job and not move, but something is going to spur you on, uh, and you're going to have to cut your losses and go, it seems. It looks like the scenario, uh, in this particular scenario, it looks like that situation is ending for you, and you're going to start a new work cycle somewhere else. So I hope that this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.